relationship with Christ Jesus. I'm not talking about knowing him only. I'm talking about being in him and him in you. You know, the disciples, they've been given his power as much as you indeed have been given power. But to this lunatic boy, he was not a man. It was a lunatic boy. The demon in a small boy and the disciples, not a disciple, 12 of them couldn't cast away the demon. Yeah. And Jesus, when he came, because he was the fullness himself, mm -hmm. he came and spoke a word, and the evil spirit obeyed. They left the boy, because automatically he was healed instantly. And the disciples are watching what the Messiah is doing. The same word spoken by Jesus is the same word spoken by the disciples. But difference. <laughs> do you know that when you do deliverance, the same name of Jesus you speak is the same name of Jesus I speak. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that you know people think that when Bible says they have not received because they are here to ask in my name, it's about taking the name of Jesus at the end of the prayer. They say, "Okay, Father, thank you." In the name of Jesus, I prayed. It's not about the name, but it's about the relationship with the owner of the name. <laughs> Because my son knows the name of Jesus, which is knows the name of Jesus. But what allows the power in the name to begin to be brought into action is because it checks how close and far are you from the owner of the name. I say, if you come to my house and you command my wife, you say, T, right now, you come to my house and you sit on my couch. And one couch of mine, and you come and say, T, right now, you point a finger at her. She knows that you want tea from her. She will not rush because she checks who are you in relationship with me that I can run and produce or make prepare tea for you. Yeah. Now, it's true you are hungry, but uh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs>